Today is Monday, November the 3rd, 2014, and I'm, and I'm Austin. Do you feel more rested? Um, why would they feel more rested? Because we moved our clocks back over the weekend. Daylight savings time has ended, remember? Oh yeah, I wondered why I had no trouble getting up this morning. That explains it. Wow, I can't believe it's already November. Do you guys realize that we only have three more weeks until Thanksgiving break? And after that... Well, should I say it? We only have three weeks till Christmas break. Yay! Wait a minute, guys. We better not get carried away thinking about Christmas yet. Let's stay on track. Let's remind everyone of this month's character trait. You're right. Okay, the trait for November is gratitude. And the definition for gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. The verse for gratitude comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.18. It says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. All right, guys. It's time to show our love for our wonderful country. You know what that means. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It's time for the news. Get your listening ears on because we have lots to share with you today. This is the week for the LSO Dollar Drive. The Legacy Service Organization will be collecting $2 from each student who wants to donate. The money collected will go towards purchasing Christmas gifts for our Buckner friends. What a wonderful way to share the love of Christ. Remember, this is optional. Poinsettias are now on sale. Or is it poinsettias? I don't know. Anyway, all the money raised through the sale of these beautiful Christmas flowers will go to support our Legacy Screaming Eagles band. The cost is $12 each and they will be delivered to the school and available for pickup the week of December the 1st. That's not that far away guys. Order online. Hey, if you have any candy left over from Halloween, bring it to school. Legacy will be collecting leftover candy to be used in, by the LSO and for the Frisco Parade. You can drop it off on November the 5th and 6th. That's this Wednesday and Thursday in the afternoon car lines or at the front office. Rum roll, please. The Frisco Parade is coming this Saturday, November the 8th. Our athletes and band will be participating in the Frisco Parade. Be sure to come out and support Legacy and Frisco. The LCA Drama Department will be performing the one-act play Our Town on Thursday, November 13th at 7 o'clock, 7.30 in the cafeteria. This is a free event, so come out and support our drama department. Hey, do you like to perform? Well, this is for you. It's time for the K3 Talent Show. Auditions will be held this Wednesday, November the 5th. Remember, all acts are limited to five minutes, which includes getting on and off the stage. If you're interested, you can sign up online. The talent show will take place on Thursday, November the 20th at 7 in the cafeteria. If you have any questions about the talent show, email Mrs. Clark. Okay, that's it for the news. It's time for the weekly weather report, and it finally feels like fall. Don't you love it? I do. Makes me think of pumpkin cookies, the smell of fireplaces burning on a damp, cool morning, the feel of the crisp night air. <sighs> Austin, are you okay? Uh-oh, I think we've lost Austin. He'll be okay. Just give him a minute. While Austin is off thinking about fall, we'll tell you about the forecast for the next few days. This week, we'll have a chance of rain. The greatest chance will be on Tuesday and Thursday. The rest of the week will be cloudy. Our highs will be in the 60s and the 70s, pretty normal for November. Our lows in the night will be in the 50s. Huh? Are we ready for the weather? Um, Austin? We already did the weather. You missed it while you were off daydreaming about fall. Oh, uh, well then. And that's it for the weather. Time for Bible trivia. 
Leah, are you ready to learn something new from God's Word? It's time to find out the answer to last week's question. That's right. Last week, we asked a pretty challenging question. We asked, what three books of the Bible did Solomon write? Did you get that one? The answer is Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon. Okay, we need a new question. Austin, why don't you come up with one this week? Sure, I can do that. Just give me a minute. I want to come up with something new. Something hard. Something, I don't know, unique. Jeopardy song, please. <laughs> And a great lead into the books of the Bible song. Ready to sing it with us? Let's go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and Samuel, Samuel, Kings, Kings, Chronicles, and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon and Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, and Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Mike, and Ahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, and Matthew. One more time, guys. Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth and Samuel, Samuel, Kings, Kings, Chronicles and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon and Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel and Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Mike, and Ahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, and Matthew. Keep practicing. Okay, that's it for Bible Trivia. Now it's time to see if you're smarter than the fourth grader. That means, are you smarter than we are? That's right, Austin. Are of you smarter than we are? Let's see. It's been a while since our last question, so I'll remind you what we asked. Ready? Which of the seven continents has the largest population? Awesome. The answer is paper, please. That's the answer. There's no continent called paper, please. No, Lexi, like, he wasn't saying the answer is, oh, never mind. As I was saying, the answer is Asia. Asia is the most populated continent on the planet. Don't feel badly if you didn't know that one. We'll give you another chance. Yes, we will. Here's your next chance to prove you're smarter than fourth grader. Ready? How many U.S. States share a border with Mexico? That's a great question, Lexi. You can look this one up on a map or a globe or something. Okay, be sure to watch next time to see if you got it right. Or if you're smarter than we are. Well, that's our show for today, Sniffle Sniffle. Austin, you're not supposed to read that part. You're only supposed to do it. Your new team will be the three M's. Molly, Mackenzie R, and Maggie. Did you just say M&M's? I love M&M's. No, no, no. She said the three M's. I've never heard of a candy called the three M's. Molly, Mackenzie, and Maggie are their next team. That's what I mean. Sniffle, sniffle. Bye.